ladies and gentlemen, and thrill seekers of innovation, I'm Daniel Asheville, your partner in exhilaration. Yes! Now we're gonna go on an electrifying adventure to a world where style meets substance, where power meets precision, and where the future meets right now. It's a completely new world that we have to build, not only for us, for our children, for the planet, and that is something which is exciting. You have to move on and look for new opportunities because the world around us is changing and we have to change along. I think there must be a huge thinking. I think the drivers have relatively much on comfort and a nice car. The stress level is even higher. This industry can improve a lot with the benefit of everyone in the ecosystem. Technology is the future. Electrification is here now. This is going to be a very, very proud moment for us to finally get to show you our Mercedes-Benz E-Actros 600. I'm excited to present to you the Mercedes-Benz E-Actros 600. Now you've heard the phrase beauty in motion, but have you seen a truck that embodies it? Behold, the E-Actros 600, a masterpiece on wheels. But it isn't just a vehicle, it's a statement that will turn heads. What sets the E-Actros 600 apart? It's all in the numbers and innovation. With a massive 600 kilowatt usable battery capacity, megawatt charging going from 20 to 80% in 30 minutes. And what's next? A deep dive into the E-Actros 600 universe. What is so special about the E-Actros 600? Well, I mean, First of all, you see that it's a very special truck. I think it has a very nice design. We worked uh, very hard on the aerodynamics, but I think most importantly, it's our first fully electric long haul truck. And that's important because long haul is the biggest by far segment that we have. And that's the one we need to decarbonize. So this is our answer to that. Okay, but let me ask you, how are you helping your customers make the transition from diesel to electric? We are working very closely with our customers, consulting them on like how to build up the charging infrastructure. It could be both public and depot charging. We also consult them on like which routes make the most sense to electrify first. So it's really about putting a solution together for them because it's so much different than running a diesel fleet yes. and you really need to change the way you do transport. So that's an opportunity for us to partner even closer and to try to help them to look for the solutions. Buckle up for design talks that will make your jaw drop, battery and charging that will spark curiosity profitability to set the gears in motion, and sustainability that will make you rethink our impact on this planet. Let's be honest, no matter how good a truck is mechanically, it is also about the looks. So we're here with an expert to find out about the design of the E-Actros 600. Can you please tell me why the truck looks the way it does? In the design studio, we talk a lot about the best design comes from when the aesthetic and the functional worlds come together to enhance the performance of a vehicle. So with the Eactros Pro Cabin, we sculpted these really soft, pure, full sculptural surfaces. 
and that aids the air in directing around the vehicle cleanly. And can you tell me, what is your inspiration behind this? What was the, the moment that it came to you when you scribbled it down on a napkin? What were you thinking? So we talked a lot, the designers uh, in the studio, about how to communicate efficiency just in the way something looks. And we actually looked at the way that nature can sculpt really efficient forms over time. So we looked at the way water can make different forms that really flow around items that are passing through the surface. Just under the surface, you get these really sculptural, nice forms from that. And even wind, over time, can carve out these, these areas, even in the hardest stone. And we looked at this to really capture that form language that comes from nature. Well, I completely agree, and I'm a fan of your work. It's a fantastic design, and you have definitely managed to translate it to me. Thank you, Daniel. I'm learning more and more about the E-Actros 600. Now it's a beautiful truck, but I wanna know what's beneath the surface. This truck has a lot to live up to and it has a lot of performance to do on the road. So I'm here with an expert to ask some questions. Can you tell me what is different between the battery and charging of the E-Actros 600 and previous E-Actros models? So the E-Actros 600 is a true long haul truck and so does the battery and the charging system. Looking at the battery, we are bringing here a new technology into the truck. The new technology, LFP, gives us the opportunity to go for longer distances, longer lifetime, and lower cost. And looking at the charging, we have the standard CCS2 charging inside the truck, but also the megawatt charging. What sort of distance or range will I have on a fully charged battery? Fully charged battery with 40 tons, we're talking about 500 kilometers and beyond. 500 kilometers? That's right, yeah. But tell me, how long will it take to charge? From 20 to 80%, we're talking about 30 minutes. Wow, and is that with the normal standard charging we have now or with megawatt charging? That is with the new megawatt charging system that we are bringing to the truck um, for this e 600. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you it, so man. much. Yeah. Thanks so much. Time to talk money and economies of scale. The e 600 isn't just a mode of transport, it's an investment into the future optimized operations, you can reduce your carbon footprint while increasing profitability. So I'm here with an expert to ask the most important facts. Can you tell me the main factors to consider when talking about TCO? Well, from a vehicle perspective, it's energy costs, toll, and for sure the vehicle price. And how are these factors going to develop? Speaking about energy costs and toll, that varies from country to country. In such countries as the Netherlands and Switzerland, we have low electricity prices and CO2-based toll system, which contributes to achieve cost parity even faster. So if we're comparing an E-Actros 600 and a conventional truck, like what's, what are the main advantages? It's definitely the energy efficiency, battery to wheel. If we bring a diesel truck and a battery electric truck on a comparable level in terms of energy consumption, let's say kilowatt hours per kilometer, we see that the E-Actros 600 needs almost half the energy than a diesel truck. How has it been developed? Where has this come from? It comes from our newly developed E-Axle and this is the heart of our drive train. It's highly efficient in terms of consumption itself, but also in terms of recuperation. If you go for a longer downhill drive, the E-axle gains the energy back and fills up your battery, extends your range. What are the key factors for the customers to take away from this? The E-Actro 600 is outstanding in terms of highly efficient driving performance and also in terms of running costs. In a nutshell, the more you drive, the more you save. Okay, great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Let's talk about Mother Earth for a moment. It's about a future where green isn't just a word, it's a commitment. Now the experts are gonna shed light on free carbon transportation goals and the real impact on CO2 emissions. Is sustainable transport logistics feasible or profitable 
from an energy point of view. Yes, the EAC 600 is just one piece of this puzzle if you look at the whole transportation and energy chain. It's profitable and it's sustainable and it's always depending on how much you drive. The more you drive, the more profitable and the more sustainable it gets. Can you tell me one feature of the EACTROS 600, which stands out to you as the number one. If you bring it just to the topic of sustainability, yes. I would say let's go with the drivetrain, with the long lasting batteries, very efficient EXL that we're producing in house. So, this combination together, this is for me like the thing that nails it down. How much CO2 would the EACTROS 600 actually save? So, this depends also on the energy that you're charging. If you would say you just operate it, on green energy. Then, during the lifetime of 10 years, it saves up to 775 tons CO2. Yes. This is like a reduction of 80% compared to a normal diesel truck. This is what has to be learned. Further, we are not using nickel cobalt in these batteries, lithium iron phosphate. For me, it's really convincing to see how sustainability is brought to life with this Electra 600. My friends, thank you for joining me on this wild ride of innovation. The Mercedes-Benz E-Actros 600 isn't just a truck. It's a symphony of engineering and a truck you can trust. Let's keep on trucking. Mercedes-Benz. Trucks you can trust.